Can you do this? Yeah, I didn't think so. I bet there are probably about five of you who consistently hit over 100,000 points in grid shot. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. So let me know what your high score is in the comments and I'll pick one of you to send 5,000 Valorant points to in my next video. Improving your aim is definitely a pretty important part of improving as a player, especially if you're newer to FPS or stuck in ELO hell. Thankfully, there's plenty of fancy apps and mini games to help train your aim, right? One of the most popular and certainly most advertised of these is AimLab. However, I think most people don't really use AimLab correctly. In fact, I think they might even be building bad habits that can be hard to break later. Here's why most people don't use AimLab correctly. A lot of people are introduced to the idea of training their aim through clips like the one of tens or another pro player showing off their skills. When we see them play grid shot, naturally our first instinct is to try and go replicate it. We load up AimLab and frantically click around the screen trying to catch every single dot that spawns as quickly as possible. We might even see our score go up after a few runs and assume that we're making progress. Unfortunately, this is the wrong approach. It's actually this focus on speed and the score that is holding us back from achieving them or really improving our aim in a meaningful way. Remember, when we see someone like a pro FPS player, especially one like Tens who actively grinds aim lab, play the game, we're seeing elite performance in action. He is literally one of the best in the world at this game and it's a lot like watching a guitar virtuoso shredding a solo or some professional footballer outskilling the other team. Maybe it's because Gridshot is such a simple looking game that we just assume it's all about the simple objective of clicking dots as quickly as possible. In reality, FPS aim is just like every other fine mechanical skill that requires practice to develop. Yes, you can go out there and just kind of wing it and brute force your way to a pretty high level at these things, but there's always a smarter way to go about it and one that will give you good habits that are much easier to improve on as you progress. Let's think about it like learning a song on guitar for a moment. You almost always will start slow with a scale or a...
Thank you. 